is Willie Minix, and I am happy that you've come back for another one of these meditative guitar lessons. Don't really know what to call them, but guitar meditations with Willie. I don't know. Anyway, um, so I was thinking today, one of the things that really leads to a lot of stress in people's lives is uh, anger. You know, the Bible says, be angry, but sin not. And it's like, well, how do you... How can you be angry and not sin against somebody else? It just seems like, you know, it's really easy to snap at people or be mean to people or whatever. But um, one of the ways that I thought is a way to be angry and sin not is you take your frustrations out on something else. And, you know, some people box and some people do sort of other things. But uh, I think that's kind of where blues music comes in you're angry you're upset you're having a hard t time and you don't know how to process those emotions so today I want to continue with this one finger guitar approach that we've been for relaxation that we've been talking about but I want to incorporate some notes that actually work with blues music so that way if you're feeling like it you can throw these notes in there too and so what you want to do we're going to continue on these strings that we've been working on and that is the uh, the second string and the uh, or I mean the first string and the second string but we're gonna add we've talked about the second fret and the fourth fret now we're gonna add the fifth fret and the third fret kind of darker minory bluesier sound than what we had before so if we go back to our simple three finger or three triplet uh, triplet uh, pattern we get kind of some bluesy stuff Now there's that tremolo that we talked about last time. And then you can kind of get other stuff by adding in those notes that we had from before so you could go so my camera battery went dead halfway through that last lesson so um let's continue where we were talking where we left off we were talking about using the blues notes on the third fret and the fifth fret on both of these strings get kind of a bluesy sound and you can combine them if you want or you don't have to if they don't sound like they belong to you just kind of do what you need to do because again we're not playing music we're just relaxing we're trying to just de-stress and we're just letting all the cares of the world just sort of float by while we just work on these simple little patterns And again, it's just really one finger. Unless you want to use two. And you can pluck more than one string at a time if you want. And the other thing too is you can press down more than one string at once. And now I want 
to teach you another technique. We talked about vibrato, we've talked about hammer-ons, we've talked about pull-offs. I want to talk about sliding. You can slide into a vibrato and then you can let off, you know, from, from a pull-off or you can slide down. Or you can combine a bunch of them together to make an interesting effect. And when you've played a little bit of that blues stuff for a while and you feel like, okay, my anger's subsiding, I'm not ready to bite people's heads off anymore. I'm ready to you know, take it easy and relax. Take a big deep breath and let it out. You don't have to be all stressed out about everything. And then you can go back to that real calming two and four fret that we were working on earlier. And you can go back to sliding on that. And if you want to play two strings at a time, you can do that too. What I'm doing is I'm plucking two to this string and that string together and going back and forth, but you know, on those three strings. We haven't really progressed past three strings yet. We're just working on getting the most out of these three strings and you don't have to rush this. This is not a race. You don't have to be the best guitar player. Nobody said that you were born to be Eric Clapton. You were born to be you, you know? And this is not something that you're supposed to stress out about. This is a, just a, this is just a guitar, you know? And you're just playing and listening to the music and it's calming. I've had a couple students recently that have told me, you know, I just feel like I'm beating up on myself because I'm not practicing enough and you know what this is that's if you have a goal of being Eric Clapton then I would say you need to practice more but if this is a stress relieving thing for you and you're not you didn't do this because you wanted to be excellent or great or awesome if this is just a stress relief for you then these techniques you could take them or leave them if they work for you great if they don't, just let them go. You just, the ones that you remember and the ones that feel comfortable to you, then you can do that. This is just like music therapy, you know? This is just music for your soul. You just do what you can do. And if you have a hard time getting your left hand and your right hand to do stuff together, well, let your dominant hand kind of do the main thing and let your not dominant hand you know, and a lot of people tend to be right-handed, so in this situation, this would be your dominant hand. So just focus on picking. And then if you want to play a note, play a note. You don't have to play as fast as I play. I've been doing this for a long time. Maybe you're new at it. You just let it, let it go. Now here's what's neat. If you want to add the fifth fret, you can add that with the two and the four and it still won't sound bluesy. When you add the third fret, then it all sounds bluesy and minory. But sometimes that fifth fret just kind of resolves it a little bit. So it goes like this. really resolves. I guess the better word was it creates some tension, kind of like the second fret does. But it's a different kind of tension. And notice this note is the same as this note. So the fretted note on the fifth fret here is the same as the open note here. So you don't have to really play that one unless you want to get this sort of a sound. Which is kind of neat. And that was just, I went five 
five, four, three, two, one, open. That's kind of neat. Doesn't work so good on the first one. It's a little bit more. It, it's a little bit more clashy. Not as relaxing. There you have it that's another technique that you can try out when you're doing this sort of relaxing thing try to get your anger out it's better to get it out on the guitar than to take it out on somebody in your life and i hope that helps you you have a good day and god bless you hopefully we'll see you in the next video